Here's a quick walkthrough for how I created this interactive hero section using Framer, Unicorn, and Midjourney. I knew I wanted a glowing ring within a dark blue hour landscape. I jumped over to Midjourney, set my prompt, and began generating some images. The prompt was pretty simple. It was just a circular ring near a structure on a grassy hill at midnight, dark blue hues. I grabbed the best images and used those as style references to then generate another set, eventually ending up with this photo, which is exactly what I was looking for. From here, I downloaded the photo and jumped over to Unicorn. For those who don't know, Unicorn is an amazing no-code WebGL design tool. It lets you experiment in real time and has a ton of built-in effects. Here's my initial working file in Unicorn. I have the image imported as a layer and set to fit to artboard. I go into the effects browser and go down to Beam. Now Beam has a couple different presets. If I just click play on this one now, you'll see it animates left to right in this line format. I went with ring and from there I just did the scale and the skew to best match the ring that I had in the photo. I got it pretty close, but I didn't love that the ring was a constant in the image, diluting the effect. So I jumped over to Photoshop, removed the ring from the image and brought that back into Unicorn. So now when I add in the ring effect, I think this looks a lot better and actually has more of an animation versus the, the constant background version. A couple other effects I used are point light, a light that you can move around and you can set the intensity. Next I added God Rays, which gives the flare effect from the rings onto the mountain. Ripple, I use this as the load in effect. So Unicorn does have a couple different triggers such as on appear, on scroll, and on hover. On appear, I set the frequency of the ripple to go from 94% down to 0% in three seconds. And the last effect I added was the mouse trail, which does the distortion based on your cursor. And I try to keep this pretty subtle, playing down the strength and the radius a good bit. Okay, so the unicorn file is good to go. Now we need to import this into Framer, which is really easy. All you do is you go up to export, you can do an image, a video, or an embed. So what you do here is you copy the Framer component code, and you also need to come back and grab the project ID. So in Framer, I have a pretty simple setup here. I have the nav bar at the top, I have a hero section, section below the hero, and the footer. Within the hero, we have our title, and we have the background media, which is where the unicorn goes. That is set to absolute positioning, so it stays fixed in the background. Paste in that copied uh, URL from unicorn, and it'll add the component at the bottom. You won't see anything in the edit view in Framer. That's to help with performance. This is where you grab your project ID and paste that in here. One other effect I added was this image reveal from Paul Lapkin. This just does a really nice kind of black swipe on load. Unicorn is just a great way to add some interactivity and motion into your web design projects. But that's essentially how this was put together. I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.